opinion One in a million One prime lens and one zoom lens for your Fujifilm system to get all the shots that you need in street photography. Let me tell you what I think about that in this video now. Hi there, my name is Tudor Matescu and I've started street photography some years ago and I've published a video about why you should use a zoom in street photography after you've mastered the prime lenses. Check that video, link in the card here. So after making that video, I was thinking what is the best zoom to use in Fujifilm with a prime lens to get all the street photography that you want from a daily walk or from a traveling walk. So I want to talk about this in this video regarding Fujifilm zooms for street photography and what I recommend and what I would choose for my own street photography style and why I will choose that. So I'll try to explain very clear what are my reasons to use a zoom and the prime lens. So if you are in content like this, please subscribe now, now, now to my channel. Thank you very much. And let's get to the subject. So before dissecting Fujifilm zooms, let's talk why you will need a zoom and a prime lens. What is the idea behind that? The idea behind that it's that a good zoom will offer you the chance to do all kinds of street photography styles by daylight. So I like to use zooms in daylight because especially a zoom will not have a very bright aperture. And I will not recommend a big zoom with an f2.8 aperture for street photography because it is heavy to take it with you. So the idea is have an all around zoom with good image quality for everyday good lighting situation, acceptable lighting situation and the prime lens for situations where you don't have enough light or you want to make some portraits. So this is the foundation. So now let's look at what Fujifilm zooms are out there. The first zoom is of course the kit zoom, the excellent 18 to 55 f2.8 to f4 kit zoom is the most well-known zoom out there and people are raving about that zoom because yes it's a good zoom with a good aperture small compact and good image quality so i think it's an all-around extraordinary zoom the next zoom that i have in mind and it's the most compact zoom from fujifilm from what i'm knowing it is the 15 to 45 millimeter zoom with an aperture not so bright and image quality acceptable and all kinds of acceptable ergonomics compromises. So let's say it is an okay zoom for street photography. I will not say, well, it's not okay because I've obtained very good results with zooms that are maybe under that zoom. So we should consider that zoom too. The next zoom that I really like is the 16 to 80 millimeters F4 zoom. This is an extraordinary zoom because it has a range from 24 millimeters to 120 millimeters. So a good focal range and also it has an F4 lens. So extraordinary for street photography, documentary photography, travel photography, portrait photography if you know to use a zoom. And the next zoom that I have in consideration it is the 18 to 135 millimeter. I really like that zoom, it is an all around zoom that will cover a lot of focal ranges and I know what I'm talking here because I had a similar zoom on my Micro Four Thirds system and yes, it is an extraordinary focal range covering, but again, that zoom, it is 18 millimeters at the wide end, so you'll not have that 24 millimeter at the wide end and I feel that 24 millimeters in full frame terms, the 60 millimeters on Fuji, it is something that you want because it will help you get shots that you can't take with an 80 millimeters on Fuji. And the next, just to put it there, it is the Tamron 18 to 300 millimeters zoom. But I will tell you from the start, I'm not tempted about that zoom because it is big and heavy. Maybe just if you want to take it on your x 4 if you are traveling, yes. But now I want to talk about the focal lenses of the, these zooms and why I will take out from my list some of the zooms. So for my style of photography, I really like to have the option of a 24 millimeter in a zoom at the wide end. At first I thought, okay, I can go with 28, 28, it's okay. 
is not okay. It's not okay. If you <laughs> that 20, that four millimeters at the wind end are really making a huge, huge difference. You would really prefer to have a wideish angle of view than a more tele zoom. And this is important because you can crop in later. And by cropping in later, you can get those millimeters at the tail end, but at the wide end, you can't. So this is why for my style of shooting, I'm taking out of the list the zooms with the 80 millimeters at the wide end, 28 millimeters at the wide end. So for my style of shooting, I prefer the 16 to 80 millimeters F4 zoom and the small 15 to 45. Now let's talk about prime lenses. What prime lens you should choose to accompany one of these zooms? My advice is for a lens to act well when it's low light, you will need a longer lens. You will not need a wide lens because if you will choose the 18 to 55 millimeters lens, you will have at the wide end an f2.8. Also, f4 at the wide end can give you good acceptable results in low light if you know what you are doing. Also, the 15 to 45 at f3.5 will help you if you will use the light to get the shot. So, you will need a 50 millimeter lens on a full frame or a 75 or a 90 millimeter lens from my point of view. So, for prime lenses, I recommend the following prime lenses. The 35 millimeters f2, the 35 millimeters f1.4, check my review about these lenses, link in the card, and the 50 millimeters f2, check again my review about this lens, and of course the 56 millimeters Viltrox or 56 millimeters f1.2 from Fujifilm. These are the best interesting lenses that will go excellent with one of these zooms. So, depending on your style and depending on uh, the weight that you want to take with you, I've decided to make three setups regarding these lenses. So, my preferred choice in using Fujifilm with a zoom lens would be 16 to 80 mm f4 lens with the 56 mm f1.4 from Viltox, or if I want to go lighter because that zoom it is pretty big and pretty heavy, but not so big and not so heavy, I will take the 50 mm f2 lens. So I feel that the 50 mm f2 lens with 16 to 80 mm f4 will be a do it all extraordinary package that uh, will give you very very good results and will and you will not feel that you are missing shots so a really good package but if you want to go lighter of course 18 to 55 mm will be a better choice with 50 mm f2 or 35 mm f1.4 i think uh, that combo it will be again a great combo because with 35 mm f1.4 you'll be able to do classic street photography and portrait photography with shallow depths of field and with that zoom lens you will be able to take all kinds of extraordinary shots. So the cover it all setup is 18 to 135 meters from Fuji zoom with a small prime lens or if you can carry a bigger 56 millimeters f1.4 or f1.2 lens from Fujifilm. You will be able to use that zoom to cover it all, but you'll have some problems at the wide end, but I guess depending on each person you can bypass that. And with a prime lens at f1.2, f1.4, you'll get good night photography shots, good low light shots, good indoor shots. And yes, maybe the most lightest setup out there, it is the zoom lens 15 to 45 meters with 35 meters f1.4 that 35 meters f1.4 it is very very light that f1.4 will give you excellent results and that small zoom from fujifilm will help you get all the pictures that you see in the majority of times yes you can use such a zoom but again photography it's a compromise game so in the end it really depends on you but for my style of shooting and from my experience i feel that the best zoom in fujifilm it is the 16 to 18 millimeters f4 combined with a 50 millimeters lens or a 56 millimeters f1.4 i feel that setup it is the most uh, 
juicy setup. The setup that will give you the most pictures that you will be able to see when you are going out and shoot. Because that focal range, it is extraordinary. It is also very good for travel photography and a prime lens will cover you in low light situation and for portraits. So my recommendation is the 16 to 18 mm f4 zoom with a prime lens of your choice and make that prime lens better and f1.4 prime lens. Thank you for watching my video. Please subscribe to my channel for more content like this. Leave me a comment and uh, talk to you soon. Bye bye.